Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a video that I've been meaning to film for a long time. I'm going to be showing you guys all of my lipstick choices for the summer. I'll be showing you guys lip swatches on my lips as well as a swatch on the back of my hand. Pretty much like all of my lipstick videos, I do a lot of them on my channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so happy to be back and filming again. I've been having such a rough time. I feel like nothing in my life is going right 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 now it's been really rough but thank you for watching and let's just go ahead and get started before i zoom you guys up and start doing the lipstick watch swatches i wanted to show you guys my sweater that i made this is well I, I crocheted it but this is one of my latest designs it's short sleeved but i really liked the puffy sleeves and i like that it's kind of cropped kind of curling a bit around the edges the buttons weren't big enough for the band but i really love this sweater i am so proud of it i'm gonna give it to my sister but i honestly can't stop wearing it because i love the colors as well it reminds me of like a raspberry you can follow me if you want on instagram it's stitched by chris and I have been crocheting and knitting a lot of sweaters. So you can definitely check that out if you want to. Okay, lip swatches starting now. So this first lipstick, the one that I'm wearing on my lips, this is e.l.f.'s Sheer Slick Lipstick in the shade Golden Pear. I love this lipstick. I think it is the perfect peach for the summertime. It is pretty sheer, but I don't actually mind it. I think sheer lipsticks are just beautiful in the summer on tan skin or just when you want something that looks effortless and simple i think this is the perfect shade i really like how it looks on me such a comfortable formula as well it doesn't last obviously the longest but it's super easy to reapply and it's just it looks beautiful on the lips it doesn't dry out my lips and i really love it so a hat to include golden pear this next one is from ColourPop. it's their just a tint lip crayon in the shade more than ever again it's a little bit more of a sheer formula it's more bomb like than lipstick but i love that i love these lip crayons i have two shades i really want to pick up more i just keep putting it off such a good formula it's so comfortable on the lips but you do get pretty decent like for a bomb you do get pretty decent pigmentation with it. It's not too pigmented. I feel like this color looks really beautiful on medium or tan skin. The only downside to this lipstick is the smell. It's pretty strong. It smells like candy grapefruit. Other than that, it's comfortable. It lasts a pretty decent amount of time for a bomb and it's just such a good formula. I find it's really easy to just throw on. This next one is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipstick formulas. It's ColourPop's Ultra Blotted Lip, and the shade I want to talk about today is in Vitamin C, which is my favorite shade to wear in the summer months. It's like that perfect blotted popsicle lip in a peach color. I love this formula. It's really comfortable on my lips for liquid lipstick. Like it's definitely not as drying as some of the other ones at the drugstore. It lasts a really long time as well and it's transfer proof which is amazing. I love lipsticks that are transfer proof but don't dry up my lips. I feel like I talk about this formula a lot on my channel but I can't rave about it enough. I just really enjoy it and I think vitamin C is just the perfect like peachy simple lip color for the summer months. The only like negative to this formula is that it kind of, if you layer it too much, it gets a little bit like crumbly and kind of gross on your lips, but that's the only downside. Other than that, I really, really love it. This next one is from Maybelline. It's one of their Super Stay lip crayons, and this one is in the shade Enjoy the View. I think this is the perfect nude for the summertime. It actually works really well with my sweater right now. The formula is really amazing as well. It's comfortable, very long wearing. It's not transfer proof, but it doesn't feel dry throughout the day. It still has really good staying power. Again, really the only downside to this is the scent because it has a very sweet scent, which I'm not a super big fan of, but other than the smell, it's a really great formula. This next one is from Revolution Beauty. I actually think it's from their main brand. Makeup Revolution, but it's one of their Velvet Kiss lip crayons, and I have the shade Fling. It's kind of a nude brown shade. It's honestly nothing special, but I think there's something about nude 
browns that work really well in the summertime. The summer and fall, I like to wear these types of nudes, which air on the more brown side like this is the perfect nude to wear if you have like a, f a special event like a wedding or something the formula of this is pretty good as well they're pretty long wearing and they don't feel super dry so yeah i had to include it i love the color and i feel like it is a great shade if you are looking to try browns but you don't want to go with those like deep browns in the summer all right we're getting into more of the brighter shades the more fun summer shades this one is from l'oreal it's one of their age perfect i think it's called the age perfect moisturizing lipsticks and this one is in the shade luminous pink it's not really a pink in my opinion it's more of a coral but it really is a nice formula it's so moisturizing on your lips it has kind of this core in the i don't know if you can tell but the core of the lipstick is white which has like the balm and the moisturizing bits and then the color is just kind of on the edge which makes it a little bit tricky to get the color even on your lips you kind of have to layer it a bit but it is really moisturizing it's so comfortable i love the shade i think it's so fun and just like a coral that isn't too much wear it to the beach and not feel weird about it you can i don't know you it's just like it's a perfect summer coral and the formula is amazing because it really does feel moisturizing and hydrating on your lips staying power isn't that great like it comes off after a meal but i wanted to include it because i feel like it doesn't get enough love on my channel these are actually really good lipsticks we're getting to the end this of course had to make a comeback in this video this is the velvet blur lipstick from ColourPop. This is in 21 Questions. This is one of my favorite finishes from ColourPop. Just never been able to find a lipstick that looks just like this lipstick does. It really does have that blurring effect. Like it looks like a blotted, blurring lipstick. It's so comfortable as well. It lasts a long time. It has that beautiful muted finish to it. It's not too intense even though it is kind of like a red or I don't even know how to describe this color but I'd say it's like a cherry red. It's not too intense because it has that blurred muted look to it. It's just a stunning shade and I had to talk about it because I love the formula so much and I know it's maybe not like a typical summer red like it's I don't know maybe it's more spring but the formula is just that good. I wanted to include it. One of my favorite red orange bright red shades to wear in the summer is from NYX. It's one of their Days and Diffused Blurring Lipsticks in the shade On Fuego. I love this lipstick formula. It's my favorite kind of, I don't even know what you would classify it as, but I guess it could be considered a lip crayon or a really jumbo lip pencil. It has the Lipstick on one end that you do need to sharpen, but I honestly don't mind because the formula is so good. It also has a brush on the other end that you can use to blend and blur out the lipstick on your lips. Such a good formula. It's so, so comfortable. It's so easy to apply. I'd probably wear this lipstick formula the most often in my collection. I wear Girls Trip, which is like one of their nudes all the time. Like every time I go out, I throw on Girls Trip. I just love that shade so much. But I wanted to include On Fuego in this video because it's such an amazing, incredible red shade. It's just a showstopper. It's so beautiful on medium complexions or tan skin. It really is the perfect fiery red shade for the summer. It's beautiful. I, I can't I can't express my love enough of this color and also this formula. I really think it's the best drugstore. NYX never really disappoints me when it comes to their lip products. I think most of their lip formulas are amazing, but I really especially love the Days and Diffuse Blurring Lipsticks. Definitely one of their best and I really hope they never discontinue it. Pretty similar to On Fuego, but just a little bit more intense is from Revlon. It's Scorpion Red from their Hyper Matte ultra hd matte lip mousses i also feel like this particular formula did not get enough love on youtube or on beauty youtube it i don't know i didn't really feel like i saw a ton of people talking about these when they came out and they've been out for a while but i just feel like it didn't get enough love and it's really really nice especially if you're into lip mousses it's so intense that it's almost like neon in my opinion and it is so long wearing this lipstick lasts 
forever on my lips. I don't even know how. It's so long wearing because it's so moussey and comfortable and doesn't dry up my lips, but it really does last a long time. And the color is just amazing. It's so intense. It's summer in a bottle. That's, well, it's summer in a lipstick tube, I guess, not a bottle, but a lipstick tube. There is just something about this scorpion red that wows me every time I put it on. Last but not least, we have Revlon's Colorstay Satin Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fired Up. Every time I film a summer lipstick video, I always like to include kind of a burnt red or a kind of brick red color, and this is the 2021 choice for me. Fired Up is that perfect brick terracotta red shade. It's almost not even a red, it's almost just straight up terracotta. I love terracotta shades on me. I think they just work really well with my skin tone. So this one is a bit deeper, I guess. I'll probably include it in my fall lipsticks as well. It definitely is deep enough and kind of, it has those like fall leaves, apples, harvest, pumpkin vibes. That just made me really want fall, thinking about all that fall stuff. But I also feel like it fits for the summer as well. It really just feels like hot, summer nights. Like that's what I think of when I see this lipstick or at least when I wear it in the summer. The formula is amazing as well. It's transfer proof, it's comfortable, it lasts a really long time. And it's honestly one of the better liquid lipstick formulas at the drugstore. It doesn't dry down fully matte. Well, it doesn't look, it does dry down, but it doesn't ever become matte on your lips. Like it's the coolest formula because it's satin but it doesn't transfer, which is amazing. Like it's the best of both worlds if you're into more of the creamy, um, glossier type lipsticks. So yeah, had to include Fired Up. I think it's stunning. Yeah, this lipstick is clashing with my um, sweater now, but that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my picks this year. Kind of like a curated summer lipstick video. I had so many that I could have talked about, like all of my fun orange shades and coral shades, but, I tried to narrow it down and keep things more simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for sticking around, even though I haven't been posting that much lately. I mentioned in the intro, but it's just been a really kind of rough couple months lately. So I just haven't been, it's not, I just haven't been into filming and it's been tough to just get in front of the camera and film, honestly. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.